Sunday, 19th of March, and this is the story of when we went to Castle Drogo. Right, so first off, we ended up on a train going down to Devon. stay with the in-laws for a couple of days it's Hannah's mum's birthday so we all were then going to go out to Castle Drogo so Castle Drogo was built between 1910 and 1930 it is the last castle to ever be built in England it's currently under heavy reconstruction so when you have a look at it in a little bit in a couple of moments there is going to be a skirt around the main castle uh, that's because it's got horrendous damp issues uh, which the National Trust have been restoring over the past few years there's some parts of the castle that you can't see unfortunately because it is um, you know being restored but hopefully that restoration will be uh, over in the next few years and then it'll be open all to, to the public and you can go down and have a little look at it in its uh, in its full splendor I'll put a little uh, web link to the National Trust in the description should you be interested then just pop it pop along to their website have a look really good organization really trying to help parts of the UK when you first enter the grounds of Castle Drogo you enter on this really really long kind of winding road that takes you into the visitor center I right, tell you what I've got an idea Right, so let's see if I can get this now. So when you come in, you come in on the car park here. tickets here there's a nice sort of bird watching area here where they bring all the birds they got some localized feeders so they bring all the birds uh, or as many birds as possible from the woods nearby into this sort of area so you can see them all off into the castle so then you you keep on walking down here until you get to where are we till we get to there that's the castle there
we came out of the castle, then we walked into the gardens. So if I remember, we came back the path that we had once walked up to here, up to here, and then we took a turning and ended up in the garden here. So you've got the garden is pretty much all of this area here, leading right the way up to the croquet lawn, which is there. Gradually we walked all the way through, there were a couple of sort of, I think there was like a, I remember there being like a secret area that you could walk a like little wooded path around here. Oh, it looks like this is a secret path. I wonder where this comes out. across there, cut across, up by the old building here. us out onto the path again which led us onto the croquet lawn which led us onto the croquet lawn round about here so from that point then we then walked and then there's a little path that takes you back to the visitor back to the visitor center we stopped off had a cup of tea and then jump back in the car and then we headed off then back the way that we came then back down the road. Mm -hmm. 